Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a tuned Lamborghini Huracan Performante Spider from JM Imports. And next to me is a MotoGP bike with a famous MotoGP racer on it. And we're going to have a drag race. <laughs> because <laughs> we can. Let me tell you about this car. It's got a 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10. Oh no, wait a minute, it's not, is it? Because JM Imports has put a couple of turbochargers on it. As a result, we have 1100 horsepower. We've got four wheel drive system. We've got a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. This thing weighs in around 1.5 tons. Value of this, around 300,000 pounds with all the mods. Now, that bike, so that has a one litre V4 with 270 horsepower and 120 newton meters of torque. It is the Red Bull KTM MotoGP team's RC16 bike from the 2021 season. It weighs in at 150 kilos. The rider on it only weighs about 50 kilos, so in total you've got around 200 kilos. That rider is Danny Petroza, who was runner-up in the 2007, 2010 and 2012 MotoGP championship years. He's basically a bit like the motorbike version of Sterling Moss. Brilliant rider, never actually won the championship due to some bad luck and some injuries. Hey Danny, how you doing? I'm oh, good, and you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm nice and comfy here in my rather lovely Lamborghini. What's it like being in your leathers and straddling that beast? I'm quite comfy too. Let's see what happens. <laughs> you won't be comfy if I beat you. I think I might beat you. I've got a lot more power than you. For sure it looks like. But let's see on real life. Yeah, let's see on real life. We're, we're, we're going to find out. Now, if you like these kind of drag races, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Right, let's do this. What's going to win? A tuned Lamborghini or a MotoGP bike? I have no idea. Buy, sell, car. Wow. Now, before we race, we've got to do the customary car wow sound check. So first thing I'm going to do is rev up my Lamborghini. Here we go. There's some fireworks going on there. What do you reckon to that, Danny? Uh, I'm a bit less comfy now. <laughs> Let's have a listen to your bike on, rev it up. Yeah, you know, it's loud, but it, it doesn't have the character of this, I'm afraid. I think what really matters though is the race. Now, before we do race, if you're thinking about changing your car, click on the pop-out banner there for the link in the description below, all right? You can buy your new car through CarWow and you can see how much you can save on various new cars. Also, you can sell your current car through CarWow, just upload some photos, give her a brief description, and our dealers will bid on your car to make sure you get a great price for it. Go check it out, completely free. Link's also in the description. If you want to do it at a later date, just simply Google Help Me CarWow and we will help you with changing your car. Right, let's do it. Come on, Lamborghini. You gotta beat the bike. I thought I was going to win. Gonna go again? It was good for me. I just want another go. <laughs> Why not? Come on, second time lucky. Best two out of three. Oh, it's gone sideways. Oh, win this one. That is one each. <laughs> Keep doing it as many times as you can, and eventually you get lucky. That is my motto. So, this is the decider. One each. I'm taking his failed star. It just is what it is. Let's do this. Come on, Lambo. Yes! Where is he? Oh, no! No! So, Danny, you won. You won the first one, then best two out of three. It's always the rules. What happened in the second race? Uh, I just was testing something, and then it didn't came out in the way I wanted. I was uh, harder on the throttle and, and more aggressive on the clutch, but immediately I got a wheel spin with no speed, and I just get sideways, so I abort. 
Yeah, you'd have lost anyway, because that was like my best time. Uh, I mean, I launched so brilliant then. I drove it so well. I was really pleased with myself. It was one each then, and um, then the final race. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you were. Anyway, let's move on. So then what exactly happened? Well, the KTM won, completing the standing quarter mile in 9.4 seconds, while the Lamborghini finished in 9.6 seconds. Now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. I'm going to be in third gear, he's going to be in third gear, and call it in. Three, two, one, go! This thing's fast, but look at him go! Oh my god, he's gone. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something else. So let's make it easy for me. I'm going to go in third gear again, and we're going to have him in gear. See if it helps. Ready? Here we go. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Come on. Oh, he's going now. Oh. It's making this seem slow. Mental creep this is. Okay, what I'm going to do now is get him to go in sixth gear, maybe from 40 miles an hour as well. Give myself a chance. Here we go. I'll be in third again. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Come on, Lambo. We got him. Oh my God. That's what I say. <laughs> He's just showing off now, it's just silly. There's no need for any of that. I could wheelie this if I wanted to, I just don't want it. Ha! Ha! <laughs> I finally managed to win. I finally managed to win one thing. Six gear, it's a bit tough, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was. It, I almost got you. I know, you were so I close. Really... I couldn't see you at all. Then I started to hear you. Then I started to fear that you might actually pass me. I saw you coming at the last minute, but no. It was nice for me, finally, to have a victory. You know, the only way I got a victory early on was because you didn't manage to start the bike, which was kind of a bit of a hollow victory. And this one, finally, when you're in six gear, I can just about do it with my Super Tune Lamborghini. Eventually beats a MotoGP bike if you make it start in sixth gear. <laughs> Yay, me. OK, now we're going to have a brake test. One 100 miles an hour, when we reach the line, full emergency stop, here comes the line, there it is. so close. I thought he was going to have me, but just about managed to keep him. It's your back wheel. That is, honestly, that is so good. This stopped really quickly and to, to only have like a bike length ahead with, you know, in fact, your tires aren't that warm. <laughs> you must be very brave to do that, but that was a good stop, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. I was pretty close to to get on your same, but I lost it at the end. This really impressive and it was dead smooth, didn't seem to wobble too much. Yeah, that under control. Does it have ABS? No, not so, at all. So it's all your right. Yes. Do you use much back yes. brake? Basically, I'm like this, not too really? <laughs> really? That must take so much like feel to just yeah. get it right. Yeah. How much back brake do you use? What kind of percentage? Most is, uh, I would say, 90% in the front uh -huh. because basically I lose contact on the rear wheel. So, it's not doing much at yeah, all, the rear wheel. Much. Still, overall, you won the most important thing, the drag race <laughs> and most of the rolling races until I kind of pushed it somehow in my favour. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you want to see some other kind of crazy videos, let me know in the comments below. Click on the windows over here to watch some more videos and on that box there to go to Car Wow to see how much you can get for your current car. Just upload some photos, add a little bit on your car. Just want to say a big thanks to Danny Petroza and the Red Bull KTM MotoGP team. Fantastic. <laughs>